guys welcome again to my lessons next to bite size tutorials and as you guys remember last time we were done this basically create two pounds and uh, we can also learn how to actually uh, zoom in and zoom out and how we can literally navigate and also be able to switch between so it's pretty much simple we had last time but in this today's lesson i just want to carry on and show you guys how we actually can create menus and uh, put into a viewport or for each camera and you can use it to, uh, then we can create we're gonna create like a little menu where you can switch between the cameras by pressing the uh, buttons so let's let's just carry on here in sp somewhere um, uh, widget blueprint want us to create a widget blueprint so that car is called wbp underscore uh, menu and if you double click on this it will show up uh, entire canvas and that's where all the viewport comes into for each for for the camera view gonna be like an, a sort of uh, enable disable view of the uh, menu that we're sub menu we're, we, which we are, we are about to create so for this one we're gonna call this home button so you press F2 and rename is to home button and um, the next bit is to definitely create other menu uh, buttons so we just drag that out um, and just if you cl click ctrl W and just to duplicate this Let's call this, uh, this is going to be our uh, camera one, camera one button, BTN, and this would be our camera two, BTN, that's what stands for button. Uh, okay, we go this way. So now what we want to do is to create an animation. So when you click on this, actually, sorry. So now what we want to do is to create an animation for these. So let's just pause, place these on the right position. So if you scroll down, so if we go one of each individually, and then we're gonna move this to this position here, somewhere here, just off the scope. And uh, that's the same goes for this minus one three six. Um, so we got them here. Now what I want to do is, if you select both at the same time, we click animation here on the left hand side, and call this uh, buttons. Or cam camera buttons and then if you click and track and what you can do literally is to uh, move them so that inside would be camera one and camera two so for B these two if you select them if you go track and transform there you go so since they start from here and within a matter of I suppose uh, half a second they will move to this position here. So I would assume this is something like about 200, maybe 15, 220. Okay, that would be 220. And do the same thing with the other button as well. 220 position uh, to X, uh, at, at X axis. So if you press the button, so what we're gonna do is when you press this button, this will scroll there just like this. And also, Bear in mind that because you want to disable it when they are outside, of course, they're not going to be visible during the gameplay. But maybe what you can do is to, you know, once they are hidden, you don't want to have this mistake where you're going to be moving your buttons and suddenly by accident you press that uh, one of these buttons. So, what you want to do is to disable them for this matter of time. So, to do it, of course, is to go again, truck, and um, it's enabled. The same here it's enabled and when they are scrolled out and they'll be enabled again so just do this literally and make sure you disable it here on the beginning just like this so when they are enabled they will scroll out so they are, since they are here they're disabled just like this it's quite simple so just compile this all right now what we want to do is to activate this animation so to do so it's just by you go to uh, home button so sorry if you click on this home button here 
and got on clicked and then you want to move this animation so so if you play animation if we press it again it will basically hide this uh, uh, buttons again so they will go back to their natural position so what you want to do is to use flip-flop flow they will help you to enable disable because the animation goes forward it will be reappearing the buttons and then if you press again it will disappear so in that instance it will be reverse so we co compile just for the test of course at the moment it's not going to be visible because what we need to do is to call our um, cam uh, menu on our viewport of the cameras so of course to do it let's use lower level, level blueprints in play so let's look for begin play and then here we're gonna uh, call our widget the widget if we create it's called wbp menu and of course here we are going to add it to, to our viewport that will be visible in front of our eyes port and let's go, go get prayer controller and just basically connect the our player controller to our owning player and we want to see the cursor of course show the cursor show um, if we can look for show cursor there we go stack this uh, connected to this and press to be shown on the screen so now if we hit play we should be able to see it yeah so you can see it now it's quite easy to the next step for us is to so the our next step is to literally and uh, what we've created just now is to make sure those two buttons are functional buttons so of course to do it let's go back to our blueprint menu and assign those our buttons to these actions um, so in that instance we cannot call this as the first camera and from what we know already this is our pawn first pawn and second pawn on the screen so this is to simply if you right click and navigate to get all actors of class and look for our BP pawn which is the first pawn camera one and let's get the array of copy of an array and look for to possess uh, this camera so you have to untick this yep. and then we are going to call our player controller ID and if you do this press this there you go and let's do the same thing for our second one which is gonna be our second bat uh, camera and we can literally just duplicate this Oh, sorry we can just literally duplicate this and just connect there just like this but then we are looking for to uh, second camera uh, and also remember that we need to re again um, uh, yeah so we need to just do this and then obviously we're looking for get our copy of our array and then let's possess this again just like that and because since it shares the same uh, get player controller ID we can just basically connect them to the same uh, so now since we have it we have to make sure that we uh, have those um, properly done which then some pets need to be disabled so that's okay here as well so if I press this, I click on this, should be able to switch. Okay, good. So it works absolutely just fine. Okay, good. So there you go. Let's create like now maybe another button as well. So if you Control W, it will basically duplicate new uh, a new button here for us. So it's called as the third button. Button three. Okay. 
now because we have this under this so we can look for to track another button And let's disable enable just like we did last time. Um, okay, that's it. And then let's re enable it just like this. And of course, now let's create actually, let's uh, go back to our pawns and duplicate this and turn the call it free. And let's play somewhere here. I don't know, maybe, maybe in the kitchen area. Um, just like this or maybe let's uh, add our bathroom for now just like this okay um, yes um, okay for now and make sure you save all and All right, so, so let's uh, do a clickable event. And as we did before, let's just duplicate this one. And let's look for BP camera third pawn. And to look for the array, copy. And then let's repossess this again. Um, for this, just for this uh, camera. All right, so let's just save it, compile it, and now we should be able to. Sorry, let me turn the um, player possessed is disabled, so we don't read it as the first one camera. All right, so if you click on this, you should be able to navigate, just like this. Simple as that. Yep, there you go. So, so hopefully you guys learned something in this tutorial and today's lesson was basically to show you guys what you can do with cameras and I'm looking forward to see you guys in the next bite-sized tutorial series.